probably more of an outdoor shoe. Going to be wearing this one on the trails and whatnot. I'm curious to put these on just to kind of see what they feel like. What's going on, everybody? I'm Jeff Rope, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, how you ain't doing? Today, I got four boxes for us to open up. This top one, it says Raffle Mystery Box. Not too sure what's gonna be in that bad boy or the other three. So, let's go ahead and start busting on into them. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you drop a like on the video. We got some other various markings on here curious to see so as you can see raffle mystery box right there on the bottom not too sure what's gonna be in this bad boy but time will tell I think I see a Nike SB box so this is gonna be from Miami El Fuego. So yeah, let's go ahead and bust these open and see what we're working with. We've got a size 13. A size 13 Supreme Dunk. And I have not seen this one yet. Got some cool stuff, kinda got this creepy guy right here at the back. About to suck my soul out. So shout out to Roy, hooking it up with some size 13 Supreme Dunks. All black stitching. This is an SB, it's got that big poofy tongue. Squishy in the bottom, does say Supreme down here. You get the sup on one side. In the egg ream on the other side. Very cool. So shout out to Roy, once again, Miami El Fuego over on Instagram. If you need some Nike dunks or you want to go join some raffles, man, check him out. He's going to get you hooked up. Got some sick dunks here. Got the trophies on the back, man. All types of stuff. Uh, there might be a specific name for this. I'll put it up on screen. Uh, one thing, too, the suede around this toe is super, super soft. Feels like your classic skate shoe, man. Really feels good. The swoosh is going to be composed of that same material. So super sick, good way to start off the video. Love me a good raffle. Sneaker Lover or Legit vs. Replicated, he has started doing some giveaways as well. I posted one on my story. I'm usually always posting stuff on my story, which is just another reason why you should be following me over on the Instagrams. If you're not, man, go over there right now. I know you got your phone in your hand. You can keep the video playing if you're premium. That is one thing I do pay for. I don't pay for cable, but man, do I love YouTube Premium. Just not having commercials is so much nicer. All right. Got a Jordan 1 looking box here. Air Jordan 1 Retro OG. This one's going to be a size 12. And it's going to be... What was this, Turbo Blue? What were, what were these called? It's kind of that same washed out suede that the Turbo Green has, but nonetheless, super duper nice. This one is a size 12. This box did get a touch beat up, but we don't wear the box, so it doesn't really matter. Get that tongue all nice in there. Pretty sick. Haven't spent too much time doing Jordan 1s here recently. Yeah, my Turbo Green's on the other side, I think. Um, kind of a textured suede, you can kind of hear it. I wouldn't want to get this one wet. It does have that really nice gray color that those gray dunks had a couple videos back. Man, this thing looks nice. All the stitching looks really, really good. Yeah, can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. If you want to know where I got all of this stuff, make sure you're checking me out on Instagram. I can't say it enough. 
if you pop down into the description of those videos and those photos I got the seller's tag making it all nice and easy for you and if you ever have questions you can just shoot me a message I got my phone on me I have started going to bed a little bit earlier but like if I don't get with you around like after nine o'clock like I'm all right back after a quick intermission my SD card got filled because I forgot to delete the previous videos off of my camera but I think we're back rolling juicy gravy but like I was saying I do go to bed pretty early best time to get a hold of me is probably between three and six I'm usually off work and just chilling around the house before I go to the gym around that time usually go to the gym from about seven to eight come home shower eat and then I'm outro so but I do get up early like I said I'm up around five in the morning so if you're an early bird don't think it's too early to ever shoot me a message and I got people that message me from all around the world so sometimes it's daytime where they're at but it's nighttime here and I'm still gonna get back with you because I want to help you save some money let's get this box open here huh? What we're working with I think these are gonna be my first pair of these yeah so these are Solomon sport shoes and I'm not sure if they're decently new or if they've been around and they're just starting to get some hype but like I said this is my first pair Looks like they ship to just about every country. Warranty policy and care instructions at Salomon.com. Salomon, time to play. They are in France. Very cool. Oh, this box says limited edition up there. It's got the little mountains right here. Let's see what these are looking like, huh? Okay, pretty lightweight, Ortholite Comfort Foam, so um, I'm pretty sure there's a few companies that use Ortholite. Has a quick lace feature, so you can just pull that bad boy in and center on down. I'm not quite sure what you're supposed to do with this other loop, unless it just is supposed to hang out like that. But a quick press and pull, and you're unlacing them. Man, the insult on this thing is cool. So, let's flip-flop these with these. Actually, these are so big, let's just get them out the way for now. Okay, that'll do. Pretty cool looking shoe. Does have that 3M reflective going on in there. Be a good shoe to run, walk, hike in. I believe that says QC2 Muscle. And then on this side it says S Lab XT6 Soft Ground Pro Nation Control Cincy Fit Plus Endo Fit. Man, these are kind of cool. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research on the Solomon Company. Um, if you have any knowledge on it, please drop a comment. I'd love to learn about it. If you have some insider stuff or just know a little bit more than the average person would on the Solomon line, let me show you this insert because it looks really good. So you get those guards up around your heel. That's probably what that helps with that pronation control. And then, not the thickest, but nonetheless, it's still pretty comfy. Red on the back up here. 08112022. So I assume these were made in August. Or no, in Europe it's the other way. So these were made around November of last year. They don't have a funky smell or anything nice hard rubber toe and then directly into mesh around where the length of your toe is going to be thick traction uh bottom lots of tread on here Let's see if you can see it kind of protruding out but it kind of almost has um like cleats i guess you could say but really good traction on here probably more of an outdoor shoe gonna be wearing this one on the trails and whatnot 
I'm curious to put these on just to kind of see what they feel like. So 11 does fit true to size. This is, or just kidding. Or no, yeah, US Men's 11. This is a 45 and a third, it says. Uh, this thing is really lightweight, super lightweight. And it's pretty damn comfy, man. So uh, now that I've been back in the gym more, yeah, it's cool to wear dunks and off-whites to the gym, but you know, when it boils down to it, uh, when you're training hard and intense, you're kind of beating up your joints and the balls of your feet, your heels, your ankles, all that good stuff. And you don't want that. Like, I hate waking up in the middle of the night or something, like feeling a new ache, like especially in my leg and my calf or something. So just having quality tennis shoes really helps with that. Um, that's kind of why I've been wearing these, the spark flies. So this just has incredible amount of cushion and stuff down in here. And like this one, this has like three or four different layers of padding on the shoe. So um, even just then when I put that thing on, I wasn't standing, but you can just kind of feel the compression down into the sole and it made it really, really comfy. So um, yeah, I think it's a good looking shoe. Aesthetically, it looks pretty cool. Um, I just haven't really seen many of these. I've never seen anybody wearing these. They might be big in Europe um, and maybe they're branching out, starting to get bigger here in the States. Who knows? Maybe I'm the first one to put everybody on the wave. But if you're looking for a new gym shoe or you work at a hospital, work on your feet, you know, work in ballet, doing whatever, um, these are probably going to get the job done. They do have that mesh on there. So with time, that probably will show some sweat and some, some stain and some darken. They do make these in black. This is kind of the gray on gray on gray pair. But yeah, um, Solomon, checking them out. And if you want a better look at those, make sure you check out my Instagram where I'm gonna have them posted. I'm gonna have that seller sourced. So if you're wanting to copy your own pair of Solomons, you can do that for yourself. Moving on to our final box of the day. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. Drop a like if you are, subscribe to the channel, share Jeff with your friends. I want to help everyone save some guapanese. And if you're bored, you could just throw the Jeff Pro videos on in the background because I'm trying to get to the watch hours limit so I can remonetize the channel. And this will be my third one that I've monetized, so that is pretty cool. I still wish I had the other two, but you know, social media overlords don't like it when you help people do things. But if you want to dance half naked, totally okay. Or sell drugs, totally okay to do that. But don't help people save money on high fashion. Wrapping it up today with a Kobe, Kobe 6 Proto KL, pink fire with white metallic got that Kobe box. They're dropping the Python Kobe 6, I think it was, uh, next year. And those are gonna be sweet. Man, that's a good looking shoe. Has that kind of snake gator print on it, like most of the Kobe's do. Or the Kobe 6's, I guess I should say. All silver back. Almost looks like a cleat. It is a basketball shoe, I guess, but. Super cool bottom. Got the Kobe logo there on the heel in pink. Man, these are sharp. These are really sharp. Does come with pink laces. I'm not seeing a change of laces in here, but that is a okay. This box is pretty pristine as well. Always love to see a nice box, even though, you know, it doesn't matter, but it just kind of makes it better, especially when you're getting stuff for other people. You want it to be as presentable as you can because it's going to keep them coming back. They want the nice stuff, you know? Got one little pink string here. Looks like the finisher. Well, we're just going to do a little snippy snip right here. And that's all you got to do. And just by getting that one string on those shoes, you saved yourself $500. 
And that's kind of how it works. If you're willing to sacrifice a little bit of time, you're going to save a whole lot of money. Typically get things 12, 14 business days. Uh, average price of the shoes around 130 to 150 bucks. Um, that's shipping included. Shipping's about 40 to 50. So usually you're looking, regardless of shoe, about 85 to 100 dollars for the actual shoe, and then another 20 to 40 dollars for shipping, just depending on how expedited you want it and where you're located. But yeah, lots more on the way. Lots more coming. Um, I got more sandals coming, designer sandals, so stay tuned for that. I got some clothes coming. If you want to go check out that grailed t-shirt video I just did, man, those things are sick. Copy some of those. Pretty new um, t-shirt business kind of getting going. Makes those distress style t-shirts. Lots of chrome heart stuff uh, coming out right now. Louis Vuitton's dropping their um, pictures and stuff for this upcoming show, so I'm getting excited for that. Uh, yeah, and if there's stuff that you want, you want me to see, comment it down below. If there's individual items you want, shoot me a picture on Instagram. Just try to include the style name, and I can usually find it for you within five to ten minutes of seeing your message. So yeah, um, five to ten minutes. I can usually find it within two to three minutes of reading your message. There we go. That's a little bit better. But yeah, I'm Jeff Rowe. Thanks for tuning in today, and I'll see you guys next time when I got some more stuff for you.